Whatever you do after the Air Force or the military, make sure that you continue to exercise. Take care of yourself. It's the best thing that you can do. I'm on my way to the gym and then of course I gotta come back to work for the last half hour or so. But this is my therapy. This is how I make myself a better individual. If I can take care of myself, I can take care of others, whether it's at work or at home. And uh, work out for yourself. Don't work out because you have to in the military, but work out for yourself. Today, YouTube, what will life look for you or what will it look like for you after you leave the Air Force? Whether you serve four, six, 10, 20 plus years, is there life after the Air Force? The answer obviously is absolutely yes. Life goes on. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do after you leave the Air Force, after your service? You joined the Air Force for whatever reasons, maybe it was education, travel, serve your country, uh, discipline, the list goes on and on. And you served your time, four, six, 20 plus years, what are you going to do next? Hopefully you are aware of the benefits that you are entitled to and you use them, whether it's the VA home loan, whether it's medical, whether it is a veteran's preference for a future job, maybe it's the training that you received, the structure, the soft skills of leadership, the hard skills of the training for your job. Maybe you're going to do something completely different, but for your time that you served, I want to thank you for your service and then let you know that you should prepare according, accordingly. I like to say set your ducks in a row because life goes on without us in the Air Force. And hopefully you can maximize whatever it is that you want to do in your life, whether it's education, whether it's work, whether it's retirement, by setting up your ducks in a row. This week, I, I deal with a lot of individuals every single week who are transitioning out of the military, not just the Air Force, but other branches as well. And this week we have a class going on, it's called ETAP. It's for E9s and O6s or above, Executive Tap. And I get to interact with these people. I learned a lot just this week, today's the last day. And I got to see across uh, the room what they want to do next life after the Air Force or life after the military because we have other branches in there as well. Some of them are going to be completely retired. Some of them are going to go back to the workforce to do something else. Some of them list their dream job and that could be maybe making their own beer. That's something that I saw or volunteering. But what is it that you are going to do after your time in the military, after your time in the Air Force? Set your ducks in a row. Here's what I mean by that. Have a plan of what you want to do. Identify how you're going to do that, whether it's school, whether it's work, whether it's training, whether it's retirement. And then make that happen. You have to have a plan. Setting up your ducks in a row is worth it. For me, organization is very important. It's not boring. It makes things great for me in the sense that I get traction and I move in the direction that I want to do or go. So you have to have a plan, make those adjustments as needed, and then do it. For me, it's working 10 more years, life after the Air Force, and then getting to the date that I need to where I can fully retire from the workforce and do whatever it is that I want to do whether it's volunteer, whether it's work, work on my property, whether it's travel, maybe it's going to be being a grandparent, things like that. But life does go on for all of us after the Air Force, and the Air Force also continues without us. That's how it is, it's a great team, but it's been around since 1947, it's going to be around for a long time. Hopefully, while you were in, you maximized, you learned, you taught, others and became a better individual. I know I did 22 years of service in many different capacities, active duty, reserve, Air Force civilian now, enlisted officer, 
reservist in a few different capacities. So I became a better individual. I'm still a work in progress, and I still have many things that I want to do in life. The Air Force was my job, but it wasn't my life. It was my career for X number of years, and now I'm doing something completely different, and I have the pleasure of still working with service members every single week. How's life going to be after your time in the Air Force? Think about that. Have a great day.